name is Trevor Matheson. I work at Word Entertainment um, in publishing and A&R. Uh, I've worked here for about three years. Uh, worked in music business in general for about 14 years. A uh, bit of a grab bag of everything in there. I started out as a personal assistant for a Christian music artist, uh, Michael W. Smith, here in town. Worked at his publishing and management company for several years. and uh, uh, So currently, I am the publishing and a r manager for Word Entertainment. Everybody kind of has uh, at least a couple jobs uh, that would have been handled 10 years ago by two or three different people. Everybody's uh, kind of doing those now. Yeah. It's fun. It's something different every day. Um, what I'm looking for in a submission is something that uh, takes the song from good to great. Uh, we get a lot of submissions. We get a lot. We listen to a lot of music day in day out, and a lot of good. Uh, we're looking for what stands out. I love a great lyric, but even before the lyric, I kind of consider the out as the vehicle for the song. And if I come away from listening to three or four songs and I can't this thing that I just listened to, it's not, it doesn't have that hook call in my head. Sometimes I really listen to that, something that is um, unique, um, that kind of grabs my attention, but then lyrically as well, something that's not staying away from the cliche. Uh, a submitter can expect that if their submission is selected or put on hold, uh, we'll pass the song around internally, uh, get a conversation going about it. Does it fit one of our current artists that are on our roster? Uh, uh, or is there an outside use that we could pitch it for, whether it's film and TV or an outside writer? Uh, and uh, if the answer to those questions are yes, then <clears throat> excuse me, they, we would contact the writer or artist and say, hey, we'd like to, to do something with the song, and we might send them some sort of singer, single song agreement where we're either sharing the publishing or something like that, so where we can license it. Uh, we use Music X-Ray for a couple reasons. First, definitely, it just helps us get a wider listening range of what's going on here, out there. We listen to YouTube and socials and stuff like that, but uh, you never know what's going on outside of the new music area. So it helps us find out what's going on. And secondly, it gives the writer or, or, or artist that's looking to get involved in the gives them an avenue to us. And so uh, we're able to provide that, whether uh, outside of just taking unsolicited material. A lot of times, 